Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Curing Electromagnetic Hypersensitivity. And we're here to take a look at this machine. This is a Philips Respironix CPAP machine. And what it does is the front half of this machine has a fan in it, the back half has a humidifier in it. This tube coming out goes out to a face mask that you wear while you're sleeping and it feeds you a pressurized feed of air and humidity while you're sleeping. And it's known to cure many nighttime breathing problems. So what we're going to do is we're going to test this machine with an AM radio. This AM radio is tuned in to AM 530 here in Tucson, Arizona, where there is no radio station. So we're tuned into radio static with that meter. And we're going to do a magnetic and electric field test with this Trifield 100XE meter. So we're going to test the power supply. We're going to test this box. And we're also going to test this tube because the reason why we're looking into this is this is an electrically heated tube. So that spiral coil that you can see is electrified and it keeps the tube nice and warm so that you don't get any condensation from the humidified air forming in it. And since I put the tube on, I've had horrible insomnia. And insomnia is a known effect of electromagnetic field exposure. So that's why we're going to take a little look at the electromagnetic fields of this device. So I'm going to turn it on and then we can do a test with the AM radio. So you can hear it's now pumping air. And you can hear we've got a lot of static on the AM radio. If we move away from the machine, that goes away. Let's see what's going on with this cable. Okay. We've got a few inches of electromagnetic interference coming off this cable. So let's follow it up to the power supply. So we've got about three foot of electromagnetic interference coming off that power supply. going all the way down the cable. It's coming out of that cable by about several feet. Okay, so this is our box. So our box has a field of about three feet. So we can pick up that field right here. And let's look at the tube. So you can see that the tube the tube has a field, probably about a foot around it. So that's our fields on the AM band. I'm gonna turn off the machine. So 
So you can see our fields distinctly change when the machine is on. With a little bit of interference coming off the cable. We're about two foot of interference coming off this. Uh, there's a bit of interference coming off this cable. The box is much different now. And our tube is still interfering with the radio. Okay, so we're done with our AM radio test. Let's go back to the next meter. I'm gonna start on magnetic field. And while it's all in standby, let's just see what's going on. Okay, so we're on the zero to 100 magnetic range. Not really picking up much until we get to the power supply. So the power supply has a field of about a foot around it. Okay, let's have a little look at this cable. Nothing on this cable. And we have a little tiny field around this unit. And regarding this heated, electrically heated tube, there's a little bit of a magnetic field coming off it even when it's not in use. So it's all in standby. Got a meter here. Let's switch it on and see what happens. Oh wow, quite a different story. We're off the scale. So let's go back over here and see what happens. So let's go down to our power supply. Okay, so we've got a field, magnetic field. Coming off, there's a few inches on this cable. Then we get to the power supply, and we're off the scale of the power supply. Let's back out and see what happens. There's about two feet coming off the power supply. Let's go down the cable, see what happens. So we're in the middle of the cable, and we can see that there's a field coming off the cable. But we're not off the scale. Uh, over here, we're off the scale at this unit. So let's back off from this unit and see how large that field is. Okay, so I'm about four feet away from that unit now. That's our reading. Let's back off a little bit more. So let's walk in and see our fields going up until we get off the scale. So there's definitely Quite a large field coming off that base unit. Uh, something to be aware of if you're going to use these units is it's probably a good idea not to put it on your bedside table next to your head but a few feet away from your bed. So let's look at this tube. So let's remember that this tube is giving me insomnia. So there is a field on this tube. Let's pull away. You see that go down. Go back in, see it go up. So, this is the electrically heated CPAP tube. Okay, so we definitely have magnetic fields around this equipment. So, let's see what happens when we go on to electric field. So, I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to switch off the unit. Okay, the unit's off, magnetic field has just dropped down, and I'm switching over to electric. And let's have a look at how our electric field is. So, in standby, we get an electric field, and it's quite normal to get an electric field coming off AC cables even when they're not drawing current. 
So we've got an electric field of about mm, two feet coming off that cable. And we've got quite a large electric field coming off this box. And again, this box, you don't want it next to your bed. You don't want it on your bedside table next to your head. You want it several feet away from your bed if you're going to use one of these machines. So you can see maybe about three feet of an electric field around that box. Okay, let's continue on down the cable. Cable's given off an electric field. And it's about two feet of an electric field coming off that. And here's our device. So we're off the scale at the device. And we back off. We can see about three feet away, we lose the electric field. So how about our heated tubing? So this is electrically heated tubing. And you can see that there's quite an electric field coming off that tube. It's about three feet. So this tube is very, very close to you. In fact, it's very close to your face. So there's your face mask and there's the electrically heated tube. And there's your electric field. So over at your face mask, we do have a field. So your head is going to be in that electric field from the tube. That's all the way down the tube. And we're actually in standby right now, so this is not functioning. So let's go back to the box. Let's turn it on. Let's see what happens. Okay. And you'll notice that it's picking up a feel from me. And the reason why it does that is because when the human body is in an electromagnetic field, it gets energized by the field. And your trifold meter is going to start picking up on the field that has been induced into your body. So let's go over here. So we can see we've got the field. It's coming off the cable. And this is our electric field. Our equipment is on and pumping air. That's about two feet. So let's go down the cable. This is our power supply. Again, you don't want this power supply near your head. You want it several feet away from your bed. And you can see that we have quite an electric field coming off that. It's about three feet. Okay, let's continue on down the cable. The cable has about a three foot field as well. And here's our box. And we're off the scale on the box. And we're pumping air. So it's in service right now. And again, it's about three feet detectable around this box. Let's go down our heated air tube. And you can see our electric field is quite substantial around this tube and I would estimate that to be about three feet of a field coming off that tube. So here's the face mask and let's go over here. Okay, we're, off, we're very low over here. That's how far away we are. See the needle starting to go up. This is where your head is. Your head is getting this field. And we get a little bit closer. There we go. Actually, off the scale. We pull back, field goes down. It goes up and down with distance. So, it kind of explains why I was getting insomnia when. I plugged in this tube and I'm going to stop using it because I don't know it's very healthy to be around this tube based on what I've been seeing with the insomnia that I was getting around it. So I'm going back to the conventional unheated tube which does not have an electric coil around it that is heating up the air inside the tube with electrical current. So that's electromagnetic fields around a CPAP machine. 
and this is the only CPAP machine that I have right now and it is the Philips Respironics Auto CPAP machine. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.